sitting with the Mount Horn Progressive Organization. Uh, I have the president, the treasurer, and the PR president, Mr. Nicholson Fletcher, uh, treasurer Roger Noel, and Mr. PRO Jerry Hosford. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to Daybreak. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Uh, very good. All right. Good. Good. So, what are we here to talk about today? Well, we are here to talk about the Mountain Progressive Organization, uh, 10th year in existence. Mm -hmm. Also, we are here to talk mainly about our annual athletic sports meet, the 11th annual athletic sports meet that is scheduled for Friday, the 6th of April. Okay. All right. Before you get into the, the actual sports meet, just tell us a little bit about the organization itself. What does it do? And for 10 years, what, what has it been doing? Well, for the past 10 years, we have been involved in a lot of different activities. Mm -hmm. um, the organization is geared towards the holistic development of the community, not only sport, but as well as e educational, um, all aspects. For the past years, we have been having things like quiz, um, debates, we've been having um, queen shows, king shows. We have been having bonfire social, we're trying to bring back the, the reminiscence of the good old days right, right. with bonfire social, cooking mm -hmm. competition, road relay, cricket competition, football, is a host of different things that we have been doing. Okay, great stuff, all right. And of course, you have a sports meet every year? Every year. So the sports meet has been going on for 10 years as well? Yeah, for the past 10 years, but based on the time of the year that we began the organization, we started in November of 2002. Okay. So that would be our 11th sports meet, although we are celebrating 10 years. Okay, all right, good, good. All right, so tell us about the sports meet. Yeah, well, um, so far, we have contested some events already, the field events, mm -hmm. the road race, which was held on Sunday gone, and um, the road relay, which we had in, um, it was a, a habit with the moonlight, but this year, unfortunately, the moonlight wasn't there. Okay. You know, but so far, we're on the way, and Friday is the grand day, the, the, the big finale, with them, them other, them other um, zones. Right. We divided the community in different zones. We have four zones. Mm -hmm. We named them under the um, name of flower. We have rose representing red, Jamaica representing blue, buttercup representing yellow, and lily which is green. Mm -hmm. So far, um, Jamaica is in the lead with 178 points, mm -hmm. followed by Jamaica on 80 points. Sorry, mm -hmm. follow and by followed by um, Buttercup okay, right. on 80 um, points, follow, uh, then Rose on 66, uh -huh. and Lily in the bottom with 8. But come on Friday, <laughs> you're going to see a, a, a big difference with Lily. Okay, all right. All right. You know, because so far they didn't really participate in the field event, so a little bit um, lackadaisical in mm -hmm. that aspect. But come on Friday, we're going to have a great show. So where exactly is a, is sports meet taking place? Uh, it will be right in Moncton at the scale in Tampa. In Moncton. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with it. I might have to get directions from, from somebody to get up. <laughs> <laughs> right. we, we, can, we can provide you with that. All right. So, okay. So we have a president, a PRO, and a treasurer. So yeah. let, me, let me talk to the treasurer a little bit. Uh, uh, the funds that, that you raise and so on, what does it go towards? Or what has it gone towards in, in the past? Well, in the past, we... We have a football team, and well, we had a netball team which we had supported for the first year last year. Mm -hmm. And well, we we asked this so certain times in like assisting school children, certain times with with, with, with certain things they might need just um, school opening. Right, like school supplies and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And well, the football team, we assist them in uniform and, and during the, the football seasons, we assist them in different aspects. We might need certain things. Okay. What was, was the football team's name? Well, they go under the same under the same, under the same Mount Hall, yeah. progressive organization. Progressive organization, yeah. football team. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Uh, well. Just to make mention, without cutting um, the treasure, we, mm -hmm. the netball team we sent out last year for the first time in the competition in St. Andrews. Mm -hmm. They came in third in the competition. Okay. But we can we, we can boast about having the, the MVP of the tournament coming from Mount Hall. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. So, so we have a, a bit of a, a, a athlete, athletic thing going on in, in Mount Hall there. Um, you just mentioned a second ago uh, a moonlight something. What, what is this you have in the moonlight exactly? Uh, we, just in, we just have a road really. A road really? Yeah. Moonlight road really? Yeah. Yes. 
And wow. This just create a lot of excitement. Uh -huh. We just have a lot of people coming out. And we, during that time, we was also also have an island competition. Okay, okay. The same yeah. night with so, the so, so social. So, so social and athletics in the night yeah. one yeah. time. Yeah, you know? combination. The combination and of everything. And the natural moonlight. Yeah, the full moon. <laughs> we right. normally talk about the full moon before the sports day mm -hmm. to have that event. Okay, okay. But based on the calendar, they said we realized that everything happened so so fast. Mm -hmm. So and the weekend of the moonlight, they said we could not have host the event because it was raining quite a bit. Okay, okay. So is it is it postponed? No, nah, we we run it off on the twenty fourth of um twenty fourth of March. It okay. was run off on that night. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but it wasn't it wasn't the moonlight thing. No, as no. In, uh, that's unfortunate. I I would like <laughs> to see something like that. But tell yeah. me uh, just quick a little bit more on that. Where does the, the moonlight um route take place? Where do you we, have to? Where does it really go to and from? It, well, it, it's around the community. Mm -hmm. But as you said, you, you, you don't really know the area, so... Yeah, well, <laughs> not for me, but for the, for the folks out there who might know. Okay, well, um, we usually start down at the past, yeah? Run, run on the main road, that, the road that takes you down to Laflet, then make a right turn up to the, um, up to the Coco farm entry area. Then when you reach to the, the next junction that could take you to Maribo, you take a right turn down to the past, yeah? You know, and, and we have different legs, you know? Okay. Sometimes the male run make a whole run, the female do like half okay you know right. but it does it, it does be nice right right, right. we just have a lot of people supporting us okay good stuff yeah. good to hear that um you have any any um star athletes or anything inside anyone well, that you want to give me a specific mention we, we we can boast about a lot of star athletes mm -hmm. kendall simon okay He's 1500 what? 800 meter representing the carifta right um panem games he has been a star athlete we can also talk about kelly bridgman Another 800 long distance runner. We yeah. have Kerry Hannibal. We have his sister Nicole Hannibal, also blazing the track for St. Angelica Secondary School. Okay. We have a lot of athletes that has been made made the mark on the uh, intercall stage as well as the character the character games. We have some young athletes coming up. We can talk about them like Chrissy, and we have a lot of important persons up there. Yeah, important persons. Yeah. We, we want the community <laughs> to come out and to see. Right, right, right. So we right. can give them everything. I had to come up to, come to up Mount to see, Come up and see. And see. So, um, so tell me about the, the sports meet now. Where, where where exactly, when, you know, well, it costs meet. to come in, if anything. Mm. No, we, we, unfortunately, because of the, the logistics of the area, we cannot really charge any of you coming to the park. Okay, okay. Uh, however, we have sitting accommodation. We have a, a small pavilion. Mm -hmm. We, the park is pretty decent. Uh, that is Mount Horn. Right. For those of you who don't know Mount Horn, once you get to Grenville, mm -hmm. you take the main road that will take you to Paraclet. Paraclet is renownedly known for Blueberry Hill. Mm -hmm. On your way to Paraclet, Blueberry Hill area, you see the park right on the, the left as you're going up to Paraclet. That is Mount Horn. We, we lie between Paraclet and La Follette on the route from Grenville. Okay. So once you can get there, that is where you ask them to take you. And this is this. This Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. The day after tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the day, day after tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I just lost track of time. All right. Mm. So the day after tomorrow, big things happening, big star athletes and so on as well up at Mount Horn. Um, drinks on sale? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Food? We have drinks on sale, foods on sale, mm -hmm. chicken and chips. Uh, as much as we can do, we have it on sale. Everything Good is stuff. there. We, we cater for you. Good stuff. And you, you cannot go hungry. You love the environment. Mm -hmm. the, the view is also nice. It's very not an area that is too hot because you get the, the, the sea breeze area right, because right. of the, the height of the location in which we are. All right. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So anything else you want to add? Anyone you want to say a special thank you to or anything of the sort? Yeah, well, um, given the history of mountain of the village of Mountain, well, we have natural uh, talent. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we have prov um, always providing national cricketers. We realize they have some, have some talent, and instead of we have them just wasting time, we try to get them involved in something worthwhile. So that is one of the main reasons we, we as, as, as the organization, see it fit to always have something good going in the community. You know? Definitely, definitely. It sounds like you all are accomplishing just that. Yes. Right? Uh, any major plans after the sports? Yeah, so we, we, we have some major plans. We want to start uh, an IT room. IT room? Yeah, that way we can give individuals in the community access to internet, um, help them in terms of um, using the community and getting computer literate. Mm. This is one of the major plans that we have. We started working on that room already in the community center. All right, so that's your, your, your education, education aspect, aspect that you're, that you're of working it. on there. Is that something you wanted to share? <laughs> yeah, well, 
I just want to emphasize the point that um, Moncton is really known for like a cricketing area. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, because over the years, them, they, well, we had a few national players and the young guys following in their footsteps. Right. As you mentioned, presently, we have two, two players on Grenada on the 15 team. Mm -hmm. My nephew, Shakim Charles, scored a century recently. Mm -hmm. And the next one, Josh Matthew, you know, okay. the, the open ball. You know, so we have it, you know, it's just, just a matter of working with the, with the young guys because in the area you might find a lot of negative things, you know. So we're trying to build on them and trying to get it positive out of them because, you know, normally when you're in Moncton you might think about bad things, but it, it have a lot of good, but, you know, you just have to work, All right. you know, mm -hmm. and dedicate yourself to certain things and we go reap the reward. Okay, so... This is the Mount Horn, a uh, progressive organization uh, fostering a culture of positivity and, of course, progress as well. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just want to make mention to a few individuals that are making some contribution towards the sportsmen this year. Mm -hmm. That's Ms. Molly Roberts of the Beacon Insurance, mm -hmm. uh, the National Lottery Authority, and um, Grenadian General Insurance. These are some of our major sponsors. Other than that, we have been getting some good response from the business community mm -hmm. and we want to thank them for very much for their contribution and we're looking forward to greater participation and partnership with them in the future so that mountain can really rise and not only mountain but as we are here we want to take the time off to encourage other communities right right to start harnessing themselves you know it's, it's better that we who are better off as a vision for our communities to take charge of the communities around us do something because if we don't, we, we leave it up to the to the drug lords and the individuals. So, is we to decide as a nation what we want for our children mm -hmm. and what we want for our country. So we are making an appeal from the mountain progress. We are making an appeal because our dream is one day, not only to have a mountain community sports, but we can have a sport that will challenge different, different communities, communities within St. Andrews and maybe who knows we can maybe even bring it to an international thing where we have this this parish meet. Mm -hmm. These are these are our dream, but it has to start somewhere. Right. Definitely. So all of those things is what we're trying to harness. All right. Well thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. Right, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Noel thank you. and Mr. Hosford. All right, these uh, gentlemen from the Mount Horn Progressive Organization, right, talking about the sports meet that's taking place on Friday up at the Mount Horn is it playing field. Yes. Yes, Mount Horn playing field. Can I have one minute Absolutely. or 30 seconds to make another thing? Sure. Um, based on the logistics of the area, we mentioned that we cannot really collect anything. But however, there is two things I want to mention. We have a sick child in the area this time. Mm -hmm. and she has a heart problem. She needs to go to the States. And on the sports, they will be have putting up a donation box. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're asking the patronage and public to come out with a contribution, they can make a contribution towards the child mm -hmm. from the organization point of view. We want to do that for her. Also on the sports day, we are asking individuals who would like to vend. They have no later than 12 on Thursday to get in touch with any one of us here of the organization in terms of vending, mm -hmm. so they can fill up the paperwork, paperwork and have everything done in order and decently. Okay, so you have to fill out your paperwork and everything yeah. to come and vend. Right? This yeah. is, this is, even though they, you, you can't charge people to come in, you yes. have that set up. Probably. Well, okay. That's the only way we can make some, some money. Okay, so uh, can you give me a contact number at least? Well, you can call 458-9867. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my number, Nicholson Fletcher. Or they can call 419-8755, which is uh, Jerry Hosford, and 420 1459, Roger Noel. All right, 420. 14 1459. 1459, all right. All right, so of course, get in contact with these gentlemen uh, if you're interested in vending or anything of the sort. Maybe if you just want to make a contribution, as you heard, there's a, there's a sick child that yes. you're trying to raise funds for to help with the medical costs and so on yes. and so forth. All right. Once again, thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming on Daybreak Grenada. All right, and all the best in your ventures. All right, thank you very all much, right. and we appreciate you very much. I look forward to much more of these interviews. With I'm, you. Sure, I'm sure there are Mountain people up there watching right now. Right? Yes, we want to big up Mountain. <laughs> big up Mountain. Uh, we want to big up all the different zones. <laughs> yeah. And the spirit is, is warm right now. You should pass up there in Mountain tonight. You should hear everybody out there and they're matching. All right. And Getting ready for the match pass. And we want to see Lily come come from the bottom there. See, so yeah. you're going to the bottom with what? what well, nothing is impossible. Yeah, well, um, you say you'll change up on the day of the meet, right? Yeah. All right. So we're, 
but uh, I'm not representing Zilia and Lily. I'm rep representing Rose. Well, you not supposed to be representing that somebody right now. Conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> it's conflict of interest. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so interest. there we have it. You know, four houses competing up at the Mount Horn playing field this Friday. Go check them out. You know, eat drinks and have a good time and look at some good competition from a place that uh, they're trying to foster some positivity and progress for the community.